Today we're looking at one method of recording good quality audio when we're shooting our video. We're going to look at double system sound. And basically what this is, it's when we use two different devices, one to record the audio and one to record the video separately. Now, why do you ask, do I need two systems? My camera has a built-in microphone. Yeah, it probably does. Most of today's little point-and-shoot cameras shoot real quality, high-def video. The problem is, most of them do not have a microphone input. So, the audio you get is fine if you're standing close to the camera because it's going to pick up my voice. But as I move further away from the camera, the sound may get more distant and more echoey. And, you know, if I turn my back to the camera, well, you probably won't hear anything I say. I said, you probably won't hear anything I say when my back is turned away from the camera because the microphone is in there. What we want to do is put a microphone on me. So what I've done is put in my pocket an audio recording device. This particular one, I'll show you that, this is the Zoom H1. And this is a small digital audio recorder. This records really high fidelity stereo sound. It's small, lightweight. Now they make more expensive units in this line, bigger ones with more inputs and they're very expensive. This one costs about $100, which is still a lot of money, but you're gonna get good quality sound with it. Now, it's got built-in stereo mics, or you can plug in a clip-on mic, which is what I'm using here, to get the best sound. Now, let me just demonstrate. If I plug this, you see the mics on the top are actually picking up the sound, and it is good quality sound, but then I have to hold this like a handheld microphone, and if there's any wind, it's going to pick up on those as well. So I like to plug in this little clip-on microphone. That way I can take this recorder, put it in my pocket. Now, wherever I walk, I can come way down here. My back's to the camera. I can come way down here by the creek. I'm still going to get really good sound because the microphone is right here. It's not up there on the camera. It's kind of like having a wireless microphone system, which is what Brad and I use on our, uh, on our other camcorder. It's got built-in wireless mics. But for someone shooting with a point-and-shoot, this is, this is a great way to get good audio. Here's a little demonstration of the difference between the audio sources we've recorded. First of all, let's cut to the camera. So right now, you're hearing my sound as it's being recorded into the GoPro, and I'm standing about four or five feet away from that camera. Now we're going to switch to the audio being recorded on the Zoom H1 digital recorder and that is using this little clip-on mic that's clipped onto my vest here. In my opinion that is the best quality audio. Okay so now you're probably wondering well what am I going to do with my video and my audio when I get back? Somehow I got to synchronize these things on my computer. Well here's a little tip to help you do that. When you've got everything set up, when the camera's rolling and your audio device is recording Bang your hands together in a clapping motion that makes a lot of noise, like this. Now the reason we did that, now we have an audio and a video cue that I can synchronize up on my computer. The audio cue, obviously when my hands come together, you'll see a spike in the audio track. And the visual cue is my hands as they touch. So basically you just line those up. On your editing system, you have the one track with your video, see, seeing your hands come together, and you have your audio track, seeing the audio spike. If you line those up from that point onwards, everything should be synchronized. 